Hi everyone, it's Vala from Online Combat with another Armour 3 Eden Editor tutorial for you. This one will show you how to have uh, an introduction to your missions that is based on uh, screens displaying text that will give your players a overview and information on the scenario they're about to play. So I'll show you what that looks like first and then we'll get into how it's achieved. So there we've got a screen with text on it that gives you an outline of the history of this battle that this uh, mission I made relates to. So that's the first text screen. Here's another one. And then the next one has the um, name of the mission, um, the name of the scenario, the Battle of Long Tan. and then it quickly fades into the actual mission itself. Um, you can also add, uh, I'll just, I've got a trigger set up for end mission, you can also add the same thing at the end of the mission. Uh, and these are based on .sqf files. So there we have information about the history of the battle, which displays to your players once the mission is completed. And there we have the outro, I guess you could call it. So now let's uh, see how that's achieved. So the very first thing we've got to do to get this to work is to um, save a mission in the editor. Go to the location it's saved at. And I'm using the MP missions folder to save mine. So it'll be your PC documents, Armour 3, other profiles, then your playing name, MP missions and then I've got separate folders in here. This one's called Vietnam missions. And this is the mission folder that we're looking for. So you'll see a few things in there. Um, the only th couple of files that we're interested in are the init.sqf and the mission opening sqf. So firstly we'll have a look at the init.sqf. Now um, you don't need to worry too much about this stuff here at all. What we're interested in is this section here. Okay, we'll just get rid of that. We don't need that. So all I have here is set view distance, which is not applicable to having the text screens. But I've got a command sleep space five semicolon and then open bracket, close bracket, exec vm, and in inverted commas, mission opening dot sqf, um, semicolon, and then another sleep for 10. So the sleep five and the sleep 10 are seconds. So the sleep five is five seconds and the sleep 10 is 10 seconds. So when the init dot sqf file is inside your mission folder, when the mission loads, it will initialize whatever you put into that and in this case I've got some stuff up here related to stamina and event handlers for that sort of stuff um, and here I have the command that will start the actual uh, mission opening. Now we'll go to the mission opening file and of course you can call these whatever you like. Um, so in here we've got, uh, we don't need to worry about this stuff, um, title text and then we've got some stuff there. Black faded, which is a command to the game to, to teach it how to, or to tell it how to handle the, um, the file. And then I've got title text, open bracket, uh, inverted commas, and then the text that I want to use. Um, if you want to put something onto a separate line, we just use a backslash and an N for November. 
and then um, the next line. Then between them we have, I've got sleep 14, title text black faded 1. So what that does is between the first line or the first screen of text, um, when it displays, there'll be, it'll be displayed 14 seconds, then it will black fade, and then there'll be one second sleep, and then we have the next line of text, and we have sleep again, and then we have the last screen of text. So don't panic about trying to have a look at the video to copy all this down, because I'll put this all onto a paste bin file, and you can just uh, copy and paste it from there. So like I said, to save you having to have a look at the screen and type all this out or me try to explain what you need to type, um, I'll just put all this into a paste bin for you guys to copy and paste. Um, you may need to edit the files a little bit to play around with the sleep seconds just to ensure that um, there's enough time for your players to read the information on those. Um, and you've got to also consider that you, ne you need to not make uh, any one line particularly long. If you need to use um, extra lines for more text, as I said, um, a backslash and an end for November just in front of the text without any space. But you'll see that in the paste bin stuff. Um, there's really not much more I can tell you about this. It's pretty, pretty simple stuff. So... Um, Thanks so much for watching. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.